So this is the fabric that I am using. It's a really, really nice jersey fabric. Like I said, it's got some spandex in it. But I bought this from a local fabric shop here in Swansea. I bought it from Nemo Fabrics. So if anyone watching this is in the Swansea area or South Wales area and you're coming towards Swansea, please be sure to check out them because they are a fantastic uh, store. So I'm just gonna finish um, pinning this. I've laid it all out flat and when I want to, um, when I bought this fabric, I actually purchased two and a half meters of it. Um, so luckily, well, I'm hoping, it looks like I'm going to have enough to cut out this t-shirt again, um, which I'm very happy about because, like I said, the last attempt went very wrong. I will show you guys that once I finish cutting, how that went. Um, but yeah, for right now, I just need to cut this out. So now that is all pinned and it's all laying, pretty flat i've tried to line up the stripes like on top um here with say the stripe there so it's all kind of even i've actually cut this like the salvage edge is here but the actual um grain of the fabric on the pattern is like up ways and the salvage is that way the reason i've done that is because my last t-shirt i made or and the first t-shirt i made was actually um it didn't stretch around the body it kind of stretched um, down up and down the body so it stretched the stretch of the fabric was actually vertical instead of horizontal which i didn't like so i'm um cutting it the different way and i've learned that when it comes to pattern cutting and fabrics i'm now cutting stuff the way i want to the way i prefer the stretch of course if something needs to be cut in a certain way because if it's say a cut across the bias or um, it needs to be cut across the bias to drape over the body in a certain way then of course then I will but things like t-shirts I will just cut it the way I want it to do it on the body simply because that is um, just how I prefer the fit and I've also laid the bottom of this down as you can see the bottom edge of the pattern is right on the edge of the blue stripe I don't know if you guys can see that. So the bottom edge of the pattern is right on this edge of the blue stripe right here. So when I hem, um, the entire bottom of the t-shirt will look like it's one big blue stripe. Um, so this is why I'm also gonna make sure I cut the um, front piece out in the same way um, with the bottom on the white portion of the last blue stripe and the top just above the red. And the blue, as you guys can see there, it is just above the red and just onto the blue. So I'm gonna make sure I cut these both out similar simply because I want it to look as pattern, not pattern matched, but look as good as it can on the body. So yeah, um, yeah, let's just start cutting this out. I'm gonna use my scissors and then for some areas I do use my rotary cutter because I feel like it's easier. Again guys, never forget your notches. This is the fabric by the way, up close. It's just a blue and white, um, no blue and white, blue, white and red stripe, which I really like and it was literally the only one in there that I liked um, and I thought was modern. So that's why I picked that up. So they are done and now let's do the sleeves. This is the actual t-shirt I tried to make earlier. So as you can see, the front, there's the shoulder, here's the shoulder seams, shoulder seams are here, um, that's one shoulder seam and then the other shoulder seam, so as you guys can see it, it did all go together but look at the size on that neck opening because, like I said, the first time I um, put the neck bun down, it went wrong and I ended up having to cut it off because my jersey ripped. So, yeah, and that is exactly where it ripped, right there, if you guys can see that. And then the whole thing just went to shit. Um, so what I'm going to do is, instead of wasting this, I am going to cut my sleeves out of the 
one sleeve out of the front and one sleeve out the back because I am not about to waste fabric because that is not where what we're about here so I can probably actually cut the sleeves out of two sleeves out of just one side um, for some reason so here is the sleeve pattern and yeah let's cut these sleeves which is the quick so k4088 and it is actually a pajama shirt pattern and I'm making this view here which is view B I believe and as you guys can see the short sleeve version has a v-neck so what I done because I traced my patterns I simply just round it off so it was a more of a round neck um, crew neck because uh, I much prefer that and I do not like the look of v-necks in t-shirts or pajama t-shirts at all I do not like it um, but you guys if you guys don't trace your patterns you could always just cut out um, the other t-shirt which is a round neck and then just cut out short sleeves for cut out this um, shirt short sleeves and add them on instead of the long sleeves which I probably should have done but oh well Hey guys, so it is now three or four days later and I have managed to find ribbon. Um, I bought just this plain white ribbed stretch fabric. Um, I think it was off eBay, but it's actually really good quality, so it's fine. And this is what I'm going to be using for the neckline. Um, so yeah, I got this and now I'm going to actually do... Um, well, I was going to say do the neckline, but I need to put the front and the back of the t-shirt together now. Um, this is like a tube, it's just like in a tube, if that makes sense. So I'm going to have to cut it in half. And then because it, the way I need to place the fabric on it, because it's not wide enough, I'm actually going to have to cut, instead of cutting the um, neck, neck band pattern on the fold, I'm going to just have to cut it just like two individual pieces and then stitch them together. Um, and then what I'll do instead of normally you would line up the seam of the neckband with like the back of the t-shirt What am I going to do because it's going to have two seams because I'm stitching two pieces together I'm just going to line them up with the shoulder seam so it kind of looks like um, The seam is just one seam instead of just like the seam on the back if that makes sense um, It make more sense when I do it um, But yeah today I'm going I'm planning to get the t-shirt finished today it should only take it won't even take long um so yeah, I've got the ribbon. I, I am pre-washed this. I did pre-wash my fabric, um, as you guys know, I think I've said. But what, I'm do, what I will do instead, I'll just steam iron it because it needs ironing anyway. And the steam will kind of make it shrink. Um, so yeah, I didn't pre-wash this because I didn't feel like I needed to. Um, so yeah, that's the plan today. Um, try and get the t-shirt finished. Um, so yeah, let's start. And the first thing I'm going to do is attach the back and the front together by the shoulder seams. I do need to stabilize the um, shoulders, like the seams, because otherwise it will stretch because it is, it is a knit fabric and knit fabrics to stretch. Um, so yeah, I think I need to cut about two centimeters of interfacing. So let's pin these right sides together. And you're gonna to wanna to pin these at the shoulder seams. So I start by just, first of, first of all, lining them up. So once you finish sewing the shoulder seams, you're gonna to want to um, iron them towards the back of the garment. So I'm just gonna do that now. Just so it's all flat and secret to a good garment is the seams by ironing. Now my ribbon is all prepped. I need to cut the neckband. So this is the pattern for the neckband. Um, this is actually from the um, other t-shirt in the pattern. But when I measured this neckline and then this, um, if I cut two of these, it will actually be the exact size I need. So that was perfect. So let me lock up the stretch on this. Cool. So I'm just going to cut two of these out, like I said earlier. I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to see because it's all white. 
but I'm just going to pin this to the ribbon and then we'll cut it out. There is our two, well, our neck band, but it is in two pieces for a minute. So let's put this together. So now, here is the neck band. And now, what you're going to want to do is fold it. Um, inside out, well fold it right sides, wrong sides together actually, like this, and keep folding it until the entire circle is folded and pressed, you can also iron it, which I probably will do, because that's this rib it's very stretchy. It's probably not going to stay folded on its own very well. So just get a basic fold for now. Just so it is folded. What I'm going to do is by the seams I'm going to fold and just to keep this together for now, I'm just going to pin them. Just so they temporarily kept together. And I'm just going to pin. Um, you don't normally need to do this. Because it's easier for me, I'm just going to pin them together so it doesn't start to become undone. And that is the neckband. So now for the bit that scares me all the time is we've actually got to put the neckband on so what you're going to want to do is get your t-shirt and i believe you put it like right way out like that so like i said earlier i'm going to line up the two seams that i created with the shoulder seams of the garment so I'm going to put this right sides together on the shoulder seam, raw edges together and then I'm going to pin and I'm going to do the same with the other side and then I'm going to pin this to the um, t-shirt. one so now let's overlock this on so I've just tried this on I've pressed on the neckband and guys I am so happy it fits perfectly like it is literally perfect I am so happy there's no puckers like there's just one here where the jersey is slightly like overlapsed but like I am so so happy it's literally like perfect so yeah so now I'm going to insert the sleeves um, I don't know if you guys, I'm going to make another t-shirt probably in the next two weeks. So if you guys want a video on how to um, insert sleeves properly and also um, a separate video on neckbands, do let me know below because I do want to film them. But as of right now, let's start the sleeves. So um, I don't know whether to just like time lapse this or what because I am going to do a separate video. So since you guys last saw, I have um, I was attaching the sleeves, and I've attached the sleeves. So now I'm just going to press 
all of the seams and then we'll stitch up the side seams and the sleeves and we'll hem and then we'll be done. So here is one of the sleeves. So now they are all pressed, we am going to pin right sides together to so we can sew up the shoulder seams and the shoulder seams so we can sew the armholes and the side seams so i'm just going to pin this side first and i'm trying to line these up perfectly because i purposely cut this fabric in the way in a way so when all our side seams are sewed up the stripes will just look like they're wrapping around the body so i want them all to be lined up as perfect well perfectly <laughs> um because i do not want any dodgy stripes so um that cut off but what i was saying was i'm now pinning the side seams and the sleeve seams to sew and as you guys can see this because it's striped fabric it's got stripes and i purposely cut the bodices um in a way where when it's finished so these stripes would be lined up so it'd look like it's just wrapping around the body so i'm pinning these now as perfectly in place as i can because like i said i want these stripes to match And I'm putting a pin purposely in where the stripes meet, just so they don't move. So now that is one side all pinned, let's take this over to the machine and we can sew it up. So I've just finished sewing it all up and I just tried it on and it literally fits perfect. I'm so happy with it. So now I'm just going to press it all and hem it and then we'll be done. I have now finished the t-shirt. I have hemmed it and um, I've done one line of stitching around the neckband just to hold that seam in place. And I am so, so happy with it. Um, as you can see, the neckband sits perfectly flat on me. I'm really, really, really happy with this. And um, I will show you guys in the mirror in a minute how it fits, but it fits perfectly. Um, sleeves fit perfectly. Um, the hem looks great. And yeah, I am so happy with this. I'm so glad I waited to get ribbon fabric for the neckline. And um, I didn't just give up on it when I attempted it the first go. Um, so yeah, this is how it's turned out. And I'm most proud of the neckline because it is really, really good. And it's only my second one and my first one with rib. Um, and I am now actually going, to, I now want to buy a cover stitch machine just to get the professional, like the proper professional finish on my clothes because I do want to make a handmade wardrobe eventually. So, um, yeah, I am really, really happy with how this turned out. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also comment down below video ideas you want to see. I do want to make a video on um, how to insert sleeves properly and 
um, how to do a neck bend. So if you guys want that, let me know below. And also go follow me on my Instagram because that is where you'll find all behind the scenes of my makes, the ones that I may not post on YouTube, um, ones that, um, that I do film, but I still post like real time behind the scenes and I will also post things on there of my daily life that you guys won't get to see here on YouTube so go follow me on there and again give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys